Okay, hello everyone. This is Victor Momo from Excel Moments. In this video, we want to talk about the text function, but not in its regular form, in a different form. To show that, you know, the text function can accept multiple formats for the format text argument. Now you're like, what exactly is he talking about? Just hold on, <laughs> fasten your seat belts. You will find out. Watch and I will tell. But let's start off with something simple before I go into something simpler. Of course, you know that's a joke. But let's start with something simple. Okay, so the text function is typically used to format, I would say, numbers most times, but it could be text, you know, as in to show in a certain format. And it's typically, of course, used in like a formula context. Let me show you what I mean. Um, let's say I want to create a string here that just says New Year Day falls on this date. Okay, I could do an equal sign, New Year Day. I will concatenate an ampersand and I will say, falls on and then an ampersand this date okay so new year day falls on this now you see what happens it gives you 45 44 5, 6, 2, right it doesn't respect the format you have in this cell so the formula as written doesn't care about what format it is here it just gives you the value in the cell you know that dates are numbers so if you press ctrl shift tilde here you can see that this is actually 44 5, 6, 2 days from January 1st, 1900, okay? So that's what the formula does, irrespective of the format here. So how do you make, you know, the date show up the way you want it in the formula? Here, you have to use the text function, okay? So the text function is just, you know, a way to format um, either text or numbers. But of course, once you format it with the text function, it becomes a text. So you put a comma, you could put the date, for example. Let's just put the date the way maybe we have it there, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, right? Okay, so the New Year Day falls on 1st January 2022. You may want to even see the day on which it falls. So you could use maybe four Ds. So it tells you, oh, it falls on Saturday, you know, and then it tells you the other days that um, the, holy, the other holidays, you know, fall on. And this is the simple, you know, um, I would say use case, right? You can do a lot of things with the format here, but at the end of the day, you're just using one format. You either use DD, DDD, MMM for numbers. It could be hash, comma, hash, 0, 0.00, whatever, but you're using just one format. So I want to show you how you do it with multiple formats. That's where, you know, we're actually headed. Now let's go into this example. This example is very simple. It's really just, okay, fine. I have an opening balance and a closing balance. Think of it as whatever. It could be opening balance, stock, you know, it could be sales, it could be barriers of oil, whatever. But at the end of the day, I have here a change, which is just closing minus opening, right? You can see I've put a format in here that when it is, you know, negative, it should show up in a certain way. When it's maybe positive, you know, it shows up in a different way. When it's zero, it shows up in a different way. I, I've put some random numbers there so I can just use F9 to randomize. So now I want to write in a, in a um, cell, just like you would do it maybe in some dashboards and put a summary and say, oh, the change in this year is this. So you're having text and you're trying to concatenate it with a number. So I could say here, I could say equals to, and I would just say the change in the year, something like this is, don't worry, these values would keep changing because I'm using, you know, random numbers. Okay. All right. So you can see now it says the change in the year is 2000. Even though I have a dollar here, I have, you know, a um, thousand separate. It doesn't respect the comma. It doesn't respect the dollar. It's just giving me the value as is, right? The raw value in the cell. And that's not exactly, you know, what you want. So what you can do is you bring in the text function. Okay. So let's bring in the text function and let's put a format at least, you know, just a simple format. I could use a dollar, you know, hash, a comma. So that's a thousand separator, you know, three zeros. Let me not put a decimal place. So let's just leave it this way. So it's just going to format like you know, regular. So you see that zero also looks like this, <laughs> which looks very funny, right? Okay, so you see 2000. Okay, so negatives, positive, all of them are formatted the same. All right, but now we want to take it a step further. You should already be aware, but if you are not, I can, you know, just slightly mention there's going to be a different video for that. Now, when you come to custom formatting, you can set it up in such a way that for different segments, you have different formats, okay? So let me just write that down here. So you typically can have, you know, four components. One, the first one will be for positive numbers. So whatever format you put first will be for positives. The next will be for negatives. The next will be for zero. 
and the last will be for what text. So having that in mind, we can, you know, um, switch this up a little. So this first one I've written here, I can take this as my positives. Now, how do I get it to recognize a different format, like a second format? I use the semicolon. So by the time you put the semicolon, it knows that you want to have multiple formats in here. So I can do something for the negatives. I could put, you know, a bracket, first of all, dollar, maybe something similar. Okay, I might just put one decimal place, you know, just so that I see that distinction. So one decimal place, okay? So that's it for negatives. Then I put another semicolon. And for the zero, I wanted to see it as 0, 0.00, something like this. Okay, so now let's see. So I'm going to just randomize a little and see what happens. So you see positive, well, that hasn't changed. You see zero now, is showing as 0, 0.00. Okay, let's see when we get to negative. So you see negatives now exactly the way I formatted it. So now with the text function, you're actually having multiple formats in one text function. Whereas somebody else may have decided to use like some if function or if it's less than zero, text this way, if it's equal to zero, use this text function, but you can do it all in one, you know, as in, in one go, okay? You can even, you know, spice it up a little. So rather than having 0, 0.00 here, I could decide I want to show the text maybe zero or zilch. So I just put zero here and you see something funny happen. Well, let's wait till we get to zero. So uh, let me randomize a little. Okay, so yeah, this is zero now. See what happens, right? So in custom number formatting, your E is actually 1900. ZR and O retain their values. So that's what is happening here. So really, it's not respecting, you know, the actual text I put in there. If I try to put in some other text, you will see something funky coming here. What you are supposed to do is this. A text is supposed to be within double quotes, right? So it means that this zero should be within double quotes. But now you have a problem. When you just put it within double quotes, don't forget there was a double quote at the end. So once you put it between double quotes and you press enter, it doesn't accept it. If you've used, say, VBA, for example, a bit, you know that whenever you want text to appear, even though double quotes already, um, you know, indicate that this is a text, but when you want the double quotes themselves to appear, then you need to double the double quotes. So what you need to do here is you need to put another double quote here, make this two, and you make this two, okay? And that way, you will now have something that works. So let's see now if our zero is fine when we get zero. Okay, so you can see the change in the year is zero. So now this works. So you could just, you know, take it a notch further. You could add, you know, some words to both the positive and the negative. So you could say the change in the year is, for the positive, you could say this, and you could add the word increase. But you know you have to put it in double, double quotes. Okay, so this will be increase. Okay double double quotes so what this will read as is the change was 2000 increase again i know it's redundant but it's really just for demonstration purposes then the negative here let's see uh this one we will put these double quotes to i will say decrease okay i will close the double quote double quotes so what this means is that the positive will show the number and write the word increase negative will show with this formatting show the word decrease zero will just show as zero okay so now you see this the change in that year is 3,000 increase. Let me randomize a little. Negative, you see decrease. Let's see if we get a zero. Okay, zero. And you know that's how it works. So some people never knew that, you know, you could actually use multiple formats in the text, you know, function. We always just use it in the simple case. Simple, you know, day, or use the number format hash or zero, zero. But you can actually create something as complex as this in the text function. There are limitations. You know, um, when you use the text function as opposed to when you use control one format cells, but it can still do a lot. At least this is quite, you know, a leap from what we've always done. So that's really what I thought to share in this video. I'll put up a separate video for the text function. I show up, you know, I show some simple use cases, but this was just to show that, you know, you can actually use multiple formats. If you're not aware of this before, now you are. And please go ahead and use it in more ways than Victor Momo could even, you know, think or imagine. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it. Please hit the like button and yes, subscribe to the channel. We are heading to 1000. We're almost there. Please subscribe, <laughs> subscribe to the channel. Uh, I would see you in another video, which I hope you probably find very interesting. But for now, I'm out.